Hey guys, we're back! Sorry for the wait. All right, it's time for more story. The best part. We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm the opinionator. And I'm We Square. We remembered to introduce ourselves this time. Deleted is... by admin. Well, well. Somebody's moderating comments. Are the Phantom Thieves innocent? I didn't even notice oh, me when either. the question changed. I'm sure it did a while back. Criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. See, by building up the Phantom Thieves issue, he can now completely exploit it and use mm -hmm. it as the perfect wedge issue to just shoot himself forward in the polls and, you know, actually achieve what he's looking to do. Right. Especially in a parliamentary the system. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. Oh my. That was... Oddly translated, but I mean, I understand what he's saying. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. The evil cabal party! <laughs> that is trustworthy! <laughs> you haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. That's right! Everybody vote! Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. Demagogue! He's passionate <laughs> and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politicians seem so unreliable. Oh, how quickly they all forget poor Tordonosuke! <laughs> sure would like to see him again, but I guess we won't. I wonder if he ever won his election. Uh -huh. uh, the election hasn't happened, I guess. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? Everything I say without question. Now, you know, <laughs> Akechi, that we are going to completely use you, right? That's fine, I'm using you. Exactly. That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? <laughs> Don't be so cheerful when you're trying to blackmail us and when we're trying to take advantage of you. <laughs> Quit effing around. I mean, it's all going to work out well, yeah. I'm sure. We may not actually be sold out. Billy's idea is... Of getting caught on purpose. Is that to, Gino is getting caught on out. purpose. Yeah. Maybe that's true. Maybe we do get sold out. I don't know. But I cannot imagine that Akechi would be the one to sell us out. Because he's so inherently suspicious that it would actually... <laughs> that it would... I don't want to say be too obvious, though I guess I would be surprised if he did at this point. You know, like, you want to be unpredictable, mm -hmm. and it would seem like that would be very predictable. Yeah. Like, the sort of thing is... But maybe, in being so predictable, it would be unpredictable, because we... No, we're not going to get into that kind of but, logic. But no, that, the thing is, is that logic is right. See, <laughs> on the one hand, we would be surprised if it happened, and then be like... Oh, <laughs> yeah. and be disappointed. Yeah. So I, I don't think that he's actually going to do us wrong in the end. Yeah. Right now? Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai San's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. Is he going to suggest Sai as the target then? I could hear Ryuji yelling from like five blocks away. If he does, if he does give us the idea of going after that's Sai... That's even more suspicious! That's exactly what I was about to say! Uh, she must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. We've already addressed this. The the warrant's already out. Mm. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. Be more smug. The groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. Be more smug with that statement, Akechi Kun. <laughs> we don't care about that self gratification. Get on with it. And con fabricating, concocting. Of course, that's what it would have to take in a situation like this. Mm -hmm. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. Yep. I've already discovered that she has a palace. This is just 
so suspicious. That's why I'm saying it's like 50-50. I'm yeah. assuming something... I, I'm still assuming that we're going to beat him up and actually... But he... But... Whoa. How does he know how the app works? Because he messed around with it and figured it out. But... Okay, I guess he's smart enough to remember, figure that out. Remember, when, when we first started, not, we didn't know how the app worked, but it asked for information. We, we lucked out the first time. Uh, being, like, the right things were said. Being in, Well, being initially drawn in, like, to Kamoshida's palace, but it's like, you know, the, the app responded. So, so Akeshi would be able to figure that out. I think that's totally reasonable. Okay. But no, no, it's obscenely suspicious. <laughs> I'm, like, I, like I was starting to say before, I still think that we're going to end up beating him up, mm -hmm. and then then he'll actually end up yeah. joining. But, I mean, don't know. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. She has a palace, though. And if she's not going to do anything underhanded, which is, which is what would happen after her heart is changed... Right. Well, that's what leads to, in the interrogation scene, yeah. her being cooperative. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. A single person... With the backing of basically unlimited power and money mm -hmm. and currently existing influence within the system. Right. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You saying the police would do such a thing? Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. Well, I think we just need to take a look at Jiro's curtain predicament and situation. The SIU is certainly going to turn a blind eye to something like that. After all, the director already ordered Sai mm -hmm. to do whatever it takes. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. Right. No! Because... If they can't settle the situation, then it is a permanent black eye. And Shido needs them to settle the uh -huh. situation so he can, on top of being the person criticizing... Just stick that feather in his cap when he starts his new regime. That's basically it, yeah. They're completely rotten. Yes, it's terrible. My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. I mean, this is exactly what we want to hear. Mm-hmm. However, the current situation is extremely bad. And what is Makoto going to say about her sister, too? Right? If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? It's gonna end badly for whoever it is. Yeah, they'd be toasted and... I mean, that the thieves themselves can't allow something like that. Yeah. Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. I mean, how could any of these people here uh, except the idea that someone completely innocent yeah. would be punished for a crime that didn't even occur. Yeah, exactly. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. I believe that. So that's why... Makoto's still just so quiet. The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. She's thinking. Yeah, of course. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. Glad to hear that. I agree. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. Ryuji can certainly understand being uh, punished for something you didn't do. Yeah. Yeah, he can. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That is, after all, what they're trying to set up. The Cabal, I mean. I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. To not only get rid of the irritating person in their midst, but also to resolve the Phantom Thieves situation. The two birds with one stone the director mentioned before. Yeah, but anyone we target is going to be in danger from this culprit, especially if they want to keep pinning the blame on us. Which means we can't just change her heart. We have to stop the man in the black mask, too. That's correct, yes, yes. Sort of draw out the culprit. Yeah. And beat him up. 
A catchy? <laughs> if we're wrong, that would be good. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? It's just too good. Too convenient. Yeah. Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing sai -san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. Hmm. Us? Huh? How fascinating. How fascinating. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. But but then her own life will be in danger. Well, like I said, we have to deal with the man in the black mask. Yeah, but even outside of that... Well, we if know the man that... in the black mask is the only assassin they have, why would they need more than one? Well, what I'm saying is even outside of metaverse shenanigans, she would still be in danger of, of be, like, of, for exposing... I mean, that's, it's not like he knows true. it. But we also know that Saeed does not, in fact, get assassinated. Right. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? It's fishy. <laughs> it's just too suspicious. It's too convenient. Everything it's so fishy Morgana's up. on board. Yeah. <laughs> Sushi! You're going to tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested. Aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. And him wanting us to disband just makes him even more suspicious. Because if he can convince us to break up and we're like trustworthy, loyal people, we wouldn't go back on our promise unless we found out that he was, in fact, working for the Cabal. Because that would just be perfect for the Cabal if we willingly disbanded. That is very, very true. And it is a tempting deal because after after eliminating everybody involved that we can find, then that's like, well, what else could there be to do? So but, now we're done. But what can Akechi do if he finds out who the true culprit is? He certainly wouldn't be able to legally prosecute him, do you think? Change their heart? So wait, he's telling us to disband so that he can change the hearts of people. No, no, no. He's saying after we've gotten rid of the culprit, oh, then okay. we disband. Okay, all right. Like, I gotcha. I don't. I agree that I don't think that's necessarily a bad deal. I understand now. I thought he meant after we took care of Sai. I'm like, wait, hold on, what? No, no. He his his additional concession was the true culprit. Yes, 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 yes. That's fair. Makoto, what's your take on all this? I mean, that's still something heavy, but mm -hmm. that's a bridge we should cross at a different time. If we just drag him along, he won't blackmail us later anyway. <laughs> it's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. So are you suspicious too? Probably. I'm flattered to hear that. <laughs> Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Ooh. Because of sickening human beings. Well, yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. Didn't hmm. the SIU director say something like that? Did he? I seem to feel like that was mentioned somewhere else. Sickening human beings. Well... I might be misremembering or the thinking of something for the, from a different game. For the villains to have such contempt for regular people only makes sense. Mm-hmm. But a catchy too, eh? It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. This would perfectly put him in the in a situation where it's just like, ah, yes, palace ruler, pow. It's simply an absurd grudge and extremely personal. Oh, we can totally trust him! This lends a lot of credence to the Akechi is a victim being forced to do stuff he doesn't want to do mm -hmm. and he's willing to do whatever he can do to stop it himself. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? I don't know that personal grudge factored into anyone's... I, I disagree. Like, hmm. everybody was, like, was put in a situation, think about Kamoshida. 
they just despised him, and rightly so, so yeah, much. Yeah, but Ryuji cared more about what was happening to other people than getting vengeance. Yeah, That's Ryuji, not what I meant. Ryuji did. Oh, but not on. Uh, okay. But on... It was like we weren't sure that's true. if An was going to let him off. That's true. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. And he didn't think An was going to let him off. Okay, no, I understand. And then Yusuke was Madarame. No, I gotcha. I mean, it's not saying they all had some big grudge. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. But that. Yeah, yeah. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai San's heart? Uh, I don't want to just jump in and say we will because I don't trust Akechi at all. <laughs> well, saying we don't have a choice. Hmm. No, I think we don't have a choice might be the best one. I mean, it's slightly hostile, but this did open with blackmail. Yeah. We've, and we're still really suspicious of him. Look, the point is, is that we're going to drag you along, if necessary, beat the crap out of you until you're actually on the right side. So, <laughs> yeah. In any case, we don't have a choice but to take the deal regardless. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. Yeah. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded. And everything will work out. Uh huh. I pray it does. After taking out the Cabal, though, that's not a bad time to disband. Right. I do find it hard to believe that this game is going to end with anything other than the disbandment. Disbandment. Oh no, of the it Phantom has to. Thieves, so. I mean, for one, when the year's up, we go back to our, I'm sure, loving and wonderful parents. Yeah, it's like, gotta move on with life, etc., etc., but if we see something that comes up, then we'll all get back together again. Yeah. I mean, that's just a normal well, narrative structure. When we, we're probably going to end this by dealing with mementos, so there won't need to be a reason for a Phantom Thief. That's very, that's very likely, yeah. I mean, we've been expecting that mementos is gonna be the end for a long time. Or, like, some special version of yeah. it. Mako-chan. I'm okay. Yeah, you have been awfully quiet and haven't mentioned your sister really at all. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... To do this? Because I wanted to change my sister's huh. heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. That her own very personal uh, grudge isn't the right yeah. word. Yeah. Grudge is the right word for a catchy, but yeah. everyone has been so involved in something. Mm. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Mm. That initial distortion that we saw, she did know what it was. Mm. Why didn't you tell us? Because she doesn't want to say that about her sister, right? and there's no reason to target her. It was too selfish of a reason. Right. Yeah, everyone has to agree on it. And she didn't think that she'd be able to actually... Well, no, I mean, I agree. That, that is too selfish. Maybe she should have said something before now, but... Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. That, that uh, right there. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. It's going to start at level 10. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. Really? I see. That's unfortunate. I mean, we could go without you, though. Will you tell your sister about this? Uh. Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? Maybe she wants to confront her in some way. Not like blah blah fantasy, <laughs> right? change your heart. Well, we know she doesn't do that. Yeah, we know she doesn't do that from the interrogation, but just confront her before doing this, before making her decision. Yeah, maybe. And I think she has that right. Mm-hmm. I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day, then, and resume this tomorrow. Maybe she has to go visit her father's grave. That's also kind of what I was thinking. Something... I'm sorry, everyone. Something so personal that she can't talk about, but mm -hmm. must do. Yeah. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? It is about her sister. Yeah. It's more surprising that she didn't act weirder than she did. 
We don't have to worry about her. Right. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Huh. This, this makes sense. And now she's going to be like, Akechi! <laughs> yeah! Okay, good to see that Jito recovered after... A palace? In me? After what happened last time. Mm -hmm. And hey! Was the thing that was happening to him la at, the, at the end of the last interrogation, did that was that similar to... To what happened in the gym trainer, gym PE coach office thing? Gym building. Gym building. Gym <laughs> rock. Um, I guess it wasn't visually similar, but I mean, like that's just visually... Yeah. Not only that, Goro Akechi? <laughs> yeah! Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? Aren't you glad we did? I already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Hey, sorry, son! I can go to another freaking dimension! Yeah, he's Why am I locked up in the funny farm? He's kind of hard to trust knowing all this stuff, isn't he? Although... His attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? <laughs> if this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. Hmm. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? A little from column A, a little from column B. And it's the truth. There, There's more than that. <laughs> hmm? If she didn't... It's not that self-preservation had nothing to do with it, and she certainly needed to, especially in... It was for her protection, too. Yeah. Because remember, she is being targeted for elimination as well. Yeah. <sighs> no. She and figured it out. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Mm-hmm. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Yes and no. <laughs> At this point, I guess I kind of don't... Um... Didn't Akechi? Yeah, Akechi I was, was the one who said it. I'll just leave everything alone. <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. There's that was a concerning Mako list of responses. Wasn't it? I don't remember. What are you talking about? And dots. Now, Akechi first brought it up, and there's no way that Ma that Makoto wasn't so wasn't concerned about it. This had been something that had been weighing on her mind for months at this point. Yeah, here we go. It's that same thing. And now he's remembering what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, because he had been drugged. So when that... Okay, so when we got that same type of visual in the, in the PE room, was that Does him that remembering mean... Shido? I'm not sure. Maybe it was him... Maybe it was an indication he wasn't remembering exactly how it went down. What we're seeing wasn't true. Maybe? I could accept that, actually. Because it is revolving around Akechi, after all. There could have been something there that we didn't know about, and that's why it had because that same type of visual. It. Uh -huh. That makes more sense than him after talking to Akechi, remembering Shido, so... Yeah, also, it may have just been he didn't remember what... Wait! Yeah? He was talking to Morgana! That's what if happened. that's when he came up with the plan to get caught on purpose? Maybe? Now, that might be... Now, I admit that's a reach, and I don't really have anything that justifies it, and I'm just trying to support my theory, honestly. Uh, but why else would he not remember what he talked to Morgana about no, after that makes, that talking makes, to Akechi? That makes sense. And, and so we don't know. And what it does is it... Like, it helps keep us suspicious of Akechi. Uh-huh. And this also addresses 
uh, like Gito and Morgana's in-universe mm-hmm. like suspicion of Akashi uh-huh. as well, because just accepting everything he says at face value is, even though he there's a chance he's completely being honest, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but accepting everything that Akashi says at face value is kind of foolish. That's kind of the kind of stuff they were doing before that they specifically got onto themselves about. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, because I am just dogged in this theory. Well, the thing is, is the only time we'd seen that we'd seen that type of coloration with the visual effect uh-huh. was right here. That's so true. it's like here in the gym. So is it no connection? I doubt that. You need to keep your focus. You do. It seems you're completely worn out. Can you I mean, blame him? I don't know if I buy it. But I also think there's enough evidence to draw that conclusion. Uh Uh-huh. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? Why indeed, unless he was confident about something. I haven't lost yet. Yes. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. But... However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. It's true, and I'm sure that just makes you furious! someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. Right. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. It's true. And now she's accepting it. Mm Mm-hmm. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Yes? Well, it's gonna be about her own palace. Was a change of heart triggered in me? I guess so. Yes, it was! That's why you are acting the way you are now! What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? As many confidants as we could fit in, that's what happened. (laughs) I don't want to hear about some gamer kid who curses. (laughs) You're stalling! This is important! This is important details, woman! (laughs) <laughs> I learned to play shogi! What's this favor you need? It's late already. And what? now they're asking Futaba for a favor. Him and Morgana. Yeah. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. And that that actually makes sense. Asking going into a palace. asking Makoto. Well, for one, she's doing something right now. Right. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. Actually preparing. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I can look up more, you know. I mean, she can hack probably all kinds of information. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. We don't need that. I think it's important details we have to consider. And the more, the more that she does, the more it raises the likelihood of her being caught. It's basically unlikely because we know they don't really have anybody with that type of ability. Yeah, because he was so, whoever it was was so sloppy that she was able to catch him or see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So still though, it doesn't mean you take unreasonable risks. Right. A girl shouldn't say things like that. (laughs) Besides, we really don't need to know anything about her underwear. If it's important... You tell her, too. If it's important, we'll find out. What else can you dig up? (laughs) Okay, Futaba, like, really, please get the important stuff, not underwear. Don't don't do that. I thought you'd like that. (laughs) Did someone say woman's underwear? (laughs) Nothing told you, go away! I may be overthinking it, but my voice. Huh? Ow! <laughs> Same as always. She's just pulling all over his face? Uh-huh. That is not how you pet a cat! Like pinching his cheeks. Man, of course cats are gonna hate that! If Morgana was a regular cat, he'd already have, like, bitten and done the five point cat charge. 
<laughs> Let me finish first. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Hmm. Here it is! Here it is! Yeah, okay, Billy, you're absolutely right. That has to be what happened. Yep! There is no other explanation. Yep, and by keeping as few of the Phantom Thieves in the know as possible, that means it's less likely for Akechi to figure it out. Because you think Ryuji can be subtle? <laughs> for that matter, like, that, these last scenes showing that memory stuff. Uh-huh. The, the memory fuzziness. Oh, it's just such an awesome, convenient excuse not to show them to us. Well, the thing is, it should make... Still, by doing it like this, this does make that something that should be kind of put in your mind, you know? It should, yeah, if you're familiar with the trope, at least. After all... I mean, all we need is a freaking car chase now. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a car chase. Alternately, we had a car chase with Makoto behind the wheel before. I suppose so. Maybe that counts. But everything that's happened has been, like, really going... People talking about aesthetics mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. showing all these thiefy tropes, yeah. like, throughout, kind of exaggerating them. Mm -hmm. With bank robberies. Tomb raiding. Stealing brides. Yeah. Oh... Looks like it is going forward. Vote of no confidence happened. Election is going to happen. That is I very see. important. Oh no, Miss Kawakami's going to throw chalk at us. Wait. Where are we meeting today? Oh, right. We were never told where to meet up. Or given his phone number. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint. The government office district. Makes sense. Kasumi Gaseki. Gesundheit. Indeed. Oh, I've heard of that place. Never been there before. Can't imagine why. Me neither. It's <laughs> not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice, public, public prosecutor's office, and public security. I mean, this is Tokyo, so that means it's like the government capital. Yeah. The diet build building is right near there, too. Yep. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi-kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we're just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Yes, and about time, too. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. I mean, we could just add him to the convo, but I guess that's a bit too unsafe for him. Perhaps? So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Huh. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? Architectural snob. I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. We have that much time, huh? For real? It's like 30, 31 days, or 20, 21 days. We'll be toasted, too. 21 days is the norm. Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Because anybody looking around in there, and God forbid they look at what's on that chat app. Oh, yeah. But this should be a substantially forced operation. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. Gotta reassure us that, it, that we do actually have the full amount of time. As usual, I'm sure we'll be loaded with text messages about people being worried they'll do it early. <laughs> as <laughs> always... We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. Yeah. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. Yeah, we really should. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? Yes, Futaba! What about his smartphone? I was thinking she might say that's a popular new model, perhaps, but, uh... This is the yeah, okay, okay! You're so lucky. I thought maybe she noticed something, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Well... <laughs> it's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. 
Well, cause remember, she already had that contact info. That's right. how she contacted him in the first place yeah. to get him on the panel. No, no, yeah, I understand completely. Uh, the reason I had that look on my face is, once again, here we come back to it. Futaba is using this as an opportunity to yes. do something on his phone. That's what I'm thinking. That is right that, after the scene with her. Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly <laughs> what exactly what you should think. Yeah, that's true. Like they're giving they're giving us all the information necessary to put it together. Uh huh. Contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> if you ever get your phone back. Well then, I hope we get along. He's kind uh, of fitting in. He is. Honestly, I hope we get along too. And I really like the guy. I am just hoping that things work out well. Mm hmm. I'll do my best. <laughs> Ideally, ideally, he's being genuine about the whole thing. I hope so. So, uh... Ah, oh, yes! yes! It's about to land! I was going to say, <laughs> so, uh, do we get combat abilities? Oh, excellent, we're getting them all. Er... Detective <laughs> talk. Man, poor Haru. I know, right? Akechi has follow-up and baton pass before Haru. We haven't even started her confidant event. He's already gotten up to Hari Sen recovery, oh, too. Man, I was kind of hoping he'd get, like, you know, protected. <laughs> You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. <laughs> She's praising you. I believe. <laughs> and distracting you so she could do what she's there to do. Yeah. We already know that she doesn't need all that much mm -hmm. to do something fast and yeah. in a hurry. Then shall we get started? Yes! We need to figure out what Makoto Sis thinks this courthouse is, right? Man, I haven't updated our persona. Oh, jeez. Well, this is the perfect time to. Might happen. I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. Shouldn't we just be able to get the information off of Akechi's smartphone app? He confirmed she had a palace the same way- he went in there, though. The same way uh -huh. that we have done it up until now is, let's just find if this person has something hit. We oh, can't yeah, I in. forgot it could do that. I forgot it could do that without all the- Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was just like- it was, it was just like how you were suspicious about Akechi using the app in the first place, yeah. but it, it gives you so many prompts. Yeah, I for, I'd forgotten. My apologies. A competition, huh? That sounds like science. Well, we know it's a casino. And that is definitely the source of her, like, her, her ambition is her distortion. Mm-hmm. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Like you said, we know it's a casino. Right? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling then! Interesting how it is a casino though. What does that say about Psy? Well High stakes? <gasps> maybe? What it means is she's in a place of competition. Where she feels like the stat odds are against her. Huh. The house always wins. That's pretty good. Yeah. Sort of viewing yourself as the underdog. There's more to that, and we'll save it for when we're actually there. Yeah. How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? Way too low stakes. <laughs> we played cards during the school trip. What else is there? A casino! It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe Makoto is going to be in her outfit. Yes. Wouldn't Sai yeah. either view everyone as yeah. a threat or Makoto's intentions to get that okay. part changed? I gotcha, I gotcha. That's a, that's a good question, though. Well time we head in then. I think it's yes. You know, maybe it's not that Akechi sees Sai in Makoto, but rather that uh, 
Sai and Makoto's father is in Yeah. Him. Yeah. Ooh, fully animated scene. Well, well. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> Everyone, Morgana's changed, but they're all in regular clothes. I guess they're not viewed as a threat yet, That's then. it, huh? Huh. What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? And this also tips the player like off it. that this is what we saw in the beginning of the yeah. game. Let's go. Right. Time for the big one, until the next big one. Wow! <laughs> oh god, it's huge! Okay, it's a casino in the heart of the the uh, administrative government capital of the entire country. Yeah! The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Interesting! Not a single one of them are in their outfit. I mean, Morgana's changed, but that's because that's, they're in the metaverse. That's normal. He's all, I mean, he's always like that yeah. in the metaverse. Uh, until the palace starts to collapse, then he becomes a cat again. Not always. Not Usually. always. It's happened at least once, anyway. Yeah. Or just once. Just once, yeah. Just once. Really just the first time. Hmm, that's a good question. In any case, okay, so not only is this sort of a like a law enforcement deal with uh -huh. size perception of it but there's no way that it would be like in the in the heart of the government district of the nation's capital without like looking at looking at like the political arena as uh -huh. well yeah and so it's kind of the idea of viewing the political arena as a uh, as as a gamble as a gamble as mere gambling as a casino that's very fascinating i think you're right about the uh, high stakes all odds are against mm -hmm. you, and that she's the underdog. Well, she's probably the manager here, but... Right, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you see where I'm coming from I mean, that. Kaneshiro was the bank manager, and or president, rather. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, this is her palace. Yeah. Uh. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Okay, well, the heart of the, the heart of the district aside, it is the courthouse that's the yes. district. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. I am really surprised by that. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Or it could be that. There we go. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. <laughs> Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. <laughs> I DON'T HAVE HANDS! <laughs> well, that may be, but it's very relaxing to pet a cat. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. Maybe maybe it's not normally near the courthouse. No, 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 no. This is where she's always worked. Okay, yeah, yeah. I brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. Now, why is it that she feels divorced from the police? I mean, she's not affiliated with the police Her father that's exactly where i was yeah. going okay so so it's like the courthouse is her domain mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the police station her father's legacy uh -huh. is outside and rejected yeah i gotcha remember part of the big difference between makoto and saya's point of view from what little we've been able to glean from uh from their scenes together right is that they are is, is that saya rejects Makoto's, or I'm sorry, let me let me start all that over. Makoto's father made a very strong positive impression on her, but apparently made a negative impression uh -huh. on on Sai. Now that's just their points of view, and right, the fact that Sai right. was older and saw more and I was guess, aware of more yeah. because she was much older than Makoto mm -hmm. when the stuff happened. Makoto is still in the age of like hero worship, where you yeah. worship your parents. And that's that's just interesting that that's so, that's so sharply delineated like that. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me, he'll need a code name too. <laughs> God 
God dang it, I just can't think of anything! Well, we can't think of anything until we see what his metaverse outfit looks like. Yeah, I guess. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. <laughs> um, like Mophead, Hero. Uh, nothing. Nothing works though. Adjudicator. Adjudicator. The judge. I mean, hell, I don't know. Just for reference. What is everyone else's? Now for the no. now for the embarrassing part. <laughs> Skull. <laughs> Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I like the way that code names were explained to me better. <laughs> then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Ah, yes, the most trustworthy of animals. You know, <laughs> Karasu is not good. <laughs> I mean, it, it it sort of implies that he's going to be in all black. Yeah. Are your clothes all black or something? He said without any hint of irony or self-awareness. <laughs> the reverse, actually. Oh. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? I don't trust it! <laughs> I can't trust that! Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Well, why not Crow? Or Raven? Yeah. Why not go with Crow instead? Oh. Alright. From here on out, you're Crow. <gasps> I just can't help but think of Trails of Cold Steel. That's really why I said crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. So he's in all white? Presumably. But it's just him then suggesting something that puts him in all black. And him being... Uh-huh. You know, I mean, you yeah. know. This is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration route. Second, we'll need to find an initial obstacle that kicks us out of the palace right away. <laughs> then we have free time until Gino finally gets off his butt and gets us here. And then we'll complete it in one go if that's possible. Right, Mo guys? Mona, stop being so meta! Sorry, sorry. Oh, we finally get lyrics! That's awesome! Okay, let's take a look at Akeshi. Level 45. The Justice! Oh, well, thank God. Robin Hood. Yes! We finally, finally get Robin Hood and it's Akechi? <laughs> we were calling for Robin Hood for how long? Oh, his bow says Robin Hood on it. How fascinating! It's sad about an awakening, but I'm sure we'll get some sort of scene like the first event battle there is. Uh huh. But I'm not gonna lie, this guy. <laughs> looks so freaking awesome! He does look like a superhero. Yeah, like, yeah. Like with the with got the like big chest, the, the big six pack, yeah, like the big uh, western super buff thing. Uh -huh. That sort of ridiculous headgear. Uh -huh. He's got a bow, a cape. That's uh, and of course he's the he's the insta kill guy. Of course, I mean he had to be the in, in Persona Four, the last character you get. Naoto, yeah, yeah, specializes. In, well, I wasn't gonna say it. Specializes in in light and dark, and so we hadn't had that character. Reach to dark. That That's makes, different. That is interesting. Strong yeah. to light and weak to dark, and and Maggie Dola. Right, right. So it looks like, and he starts with severe. Well, what's fortify? Oh, nice. Interesting. And even just a couple levels away is a heavy, heavy damage. But I guess that makes sense. Mm. And he doesn't, he doesn't, however, have uh, Mahama or something like that. Oh, and, not yet. And stat-wise, he is super balanced. He actually is almost identical to Haru. <laughs> well, Haru's also got boosting of gear. Yeah. I see, but, yeah. But he's a few levels lower, too. That's true, that's true. Fascinating and kind of awesome. <laughs> Uses a, an energy sword? What? So Akechi is the source of the lightsaber? <laughs> a, ray a ray gun? gun. That's awesome. 
welcome! What an interesting person. We hadn't said anything about this, but we did buy that Roland medal. Oh, it's so good. I I mean, I think Akechi probably needs an adhesive because if we've come this far using it, we may as well just go all the way. Yeah, but we don't have another adhesive yet. Yeah, so um, we'll hand this to him now. Uh, we're not going to keep this medal on him, though. Right. Uh, the medal, based on how we've been doing it, should go to either Buji or Yusuke because they're the only ones that uh, are really just, like, physical smashing uh -huh. everything. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So what do you see at the bottom of the screen here, Billy? Second Awakening. No, no, above oh, that. Oh, Protect and Endear. No, no, no. You, what's in between those? Sexy Technique. Next ability at what rank? Endure. The same way we have gotten that from every confidant. Yeah. Like we get... Yeah, yeah, I see. There's no other abilities here. I don't know what that means. Meanwhile, even, you know, with other story characters, we get something like that. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh. Plenty of people hanging around, though I remember from the opening there were enough people around that we thought it was the real world. Yeah. But we yeah. didn't know how palaces worked at the time. Right. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't go in the front. Focus. Just looking around. Oh, look at that pose. Interesting how the dumpster is just totally overloaded, isn't it? Yeah. Wonder, Wonder what that, what that means. That means. Yeah. I suppose she thinks that there's an exorbitant amount of trash everywhere, but does the trash represent, say, the the people that she's putting away or the people that she's working with? That's a good question, because no one's taken out the trash. Well, but the trash was at the dumpster, so it was taken out. Well, I mean, yeah, but, but it no hadn't been picked up. That's no, not what I meant. I see what you mean. I just said the wrong thing. I'm thinking way too much about that. Yeah, I shouldn't probably. worry about that. It's just garbage, man. Come on. No, no. Overanalyzing what we find out in these places is uh, part <laughs> of the know. appeal. I like how we still jump around and everything, even though we're not transformed. I know. I'd, I'd be really weirded out by that. Except we already played with it in Futaba's palace. Uh, that's so. true. That's true. Okay. Looks like we'll be able to sneak in from here. You know, considering Sai's sense of justice, I suspect that means the people she's working with... My god! <laughs> okay, if it weren't for the Plague Doctor mask, then I... I freaking love that that aesthetic. I love it so much. The ridiculous epaulets. Uh -huh. His equipment was called... Uh, his outfit was called Prince Outfit. Yeah. Uh, that is an aesthetic I really, really, really like. So this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? No! He's not a thief! Yeah! It just means that that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No, this is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. That's right! By God! Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. Maybe we should call him Mosquito. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Well, this is the first time Haru's seen something like this. True. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. <laughs> that probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? Please. In essence, since these people look like real people, sai -san's view of the others is surprisingly undistorted. Ha! Ah, who's the trash, then? My God! <laughs> the meaning of the overflow... F f f f f f I've shorted out completely because of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. But not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful, particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? Yes, yes it is. Hmm, this is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Hey. 
Just don't slow us down, crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside and see just what the heck is gonna happen. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later, and we'll get caught in reality. And the way it works every time is we get kicked out as soon as we see something important. <laughs> of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? I'm so excited! Never talk like that again, please! Will you please stop interrupting? M my apologies. Come on. Well then, let's go. An interesting thing to note about his mask is how it, it really highlights his eyes, but they're kind of shadowed too by the mask. Huh. Take, like, take a look. Yeah, you're right. They really make his eyes pop out, but they're also kind of shadowed and darkened by his mask. It also looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> well then, let us begin by securing our route. Whoa! Man, and They all got a stance like that. I, but. I've been... He has always been one of my favorite characters, but I'm really starting to like him a lot more. <laughs> Man, that's awesome! <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Can't get our persona in order. Need a velvet room around somewhere. <laughs> Darn it! I knew, hey, I, I, knew I, mean, I shouldn't have put it off for so long. <laughs> Hey, look, we're jumping around on stuff. I, we can't be too excited. We did it in the very beginning. We, we've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm really liking the music so far, but I mean, I'm going to have to hear it more before I have any comments on it. Right. But I really do like the fact that uh, there's lyrics. Mm -hmm. in, in Persona, like Persona 4 was the first game I played. I know 3 came first, but I didn't play it. That used a lot of lyrics everywhere mm -hmm. in, in the BGM. And it actually made me really like that style. I kind of was not expecting that I would before. Uh huh. And uh, I kind of had been missing the lyrics everywhere. And so I'm really glad that we finally get some. <laughs> I do also, I also like music with lyrics. Aha! Man, there's nothing to take. I am upset at the lack of, like, air duct conversations. You just got spoiled by Trails of Cold Steel again. I know. Haven't we all? If you like RPGs and you haven't played it, oh my god, play that game. It's really good. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. Whoa. Oh, how fabulous! She can see us! She's got, like, this evening dress. Femme fatale. This evil tattoo. Yeah, we haven't had a femme fatale. Yeah. That's another trope here. And, that, and, and like, that hat makes her look rather evil, but it's, like, <laughs> one of those, uh, like, fancy high lady hats. Uh-huh. You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I'll tell you where it is. It's a trap! <laughs> what? We we are not going to fall for such an obvious trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. Surprise! There's no dungeon! <laughs> you aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. You can trust me. I mean, clearly this is our big confrontation in which we'll need to run away from. Yeah. Oh my! Oh my indeed. So we get the uh, flowers in her hat. Uh-huh. And the playing cards behind the With the, the flowers. playing cards. The spiked collar <laughs> and, like, the fishnet for her front. In fact, looking at her character model over there, it is exceedingly revealing. Mm hmm And, like, that goth girl doesn't know how to use makeup yet. <laughs> Way too much eyeshadow. Plus the black lipstick. This is very, very interesting. This is not at all anything remotely close to what I was expecting. Right? So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. 
Huh! This is also different from the other palaces. Damn it. Over there! You know, once I was in an elevator like that, and it closed on my head. Oh, God! I was, like, seven, I think. It, I just went, ow, that hurt. <laughs> it seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker, let us pursue her. I can feel it. I want the velvet room! Did Have you... some gray cufflinks instead. That's no good. Did you see how it exploded uh, in cards? <laughs> That's awesome. So everything is so fancy. Uh-huh. But that doesn't really quite seem like... Oh my god, look at her! Oh! Oh no! She never seemed the sort to be uh, particularly concerned about status or something. Well, she's always been begging for a promotion. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking. You're absolutely right. I was just looking at status more in terms of... Uh, more in terms of, like, wealth or something. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, I guess you're right. Actually, like, everything being highly status-y, uh -huh. it does make perfect sense that she'd be that concerned with it. Part of her distortion is, like, that tempting over wanting more power in right, her career. Right. She's trying to uh, convince Makoto to not really care about anything except improving her own status uh -huh. and like yet for some reason i was just like erp erp fancy <laughs> trappings and didn't make that obvious connection it's okay i, I won't judge you i feel kind of embarrassed honestly <laughs> but with the magic of editing it's like it never happened again no distortion yeah i'm not too concerned about it at this point though I just can't help but wonder if maybe there's something to it. Yeah, like why this palace and the previous one didn't don't like have that <laughs> static yeah. showing showing another area. I mean, maybe I'm looking too far into it. I've been known to do that from time to time. So uh, have I. <laughs> okay, so they won't let me go anywhere, including the palace entrance with the velvet room, until okay. we have. Uh, we'll just have to pursue Sai. Formally introduced ourselves. Though, isn't it weird that the scene wasn't voiced? A little bit. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Um. Member's card? The VIP lounge. Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. I don't care about jogging. I care about jogging. Do you have a moment? Casinos typically... Ha Casinos typically... Casinos typically... Billy is broken! Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. What? That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... There we go. It's got a wine bottle. An extremely not intimidating looking shadow. As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. I see. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! Ah, oh. oh, it's that cheetah cheater! <laughs> no need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. Now we get his... awakening scene. I suppose? I have high expectations. Look yes. cool, man. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. <laughs> I just wish he didn't have the Plague Doctor mask. Right? Oh, that's all we get? Nah, that's fine. Blow him to shreds, Akechi. <laughs> well, then, let us begin. Ah, Akechi! He puts the saber in lightsaber. Yeah! Did you see how it had the, like, the European uh, the hilt? hilt? Yeah. That is awesome! Now, if only he had a beam rifle, he would almost be perfect in terms of my taste. He's got a ray gun. It's not a beam rifle, though. That's true. Don't worry. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! That's so awesome that he has Robin Hood! Yeah! Hey, what do we get here? Oh, it covers his face. Oh, look at his portrait in the bottom. That's a face you can trust, isn't it? 
I love how the lightsaber is curved just like a oh, curved you're right. European sword. <laughs> Taste my wrath! I'm sure I can't insta-kill, so let's start with Koga. Uh, take this! This is Akechi's battle, so he'll take care of everything. Right. I have to say... Oh, do you see him? What happened? Oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah, He's yeah. idle like that. That's pretty and awesome. Then he, and then the whoosh yeah, with the his sword. Yeah, the flicking of his wrist. Yeah! I have to say, I really love the aesthetics of, like, the last two characters. Uh-huh. Combined with Makoto, I think my own personal aesthetics, uh -huh. like, that's that's it exactly. <laughs> so as it turns out, the, and, and, and Gino is fine too, so as right. it turns out, I think this is the coolest looking party bar none. <laughs> Here, take this. We're just so... waiting, we're just waiting until Akechi does something cool anyway. Right. Maybe he's weak to curse. Or he blocks it entirely. Oh, this is bad. Oh, thank God you blocked. Man, for someone trying to look cool, you're not really doing a good job, though. Right? I mean, he's about to die, but... You know, normally these battles are, like, the show-them-off types. Yeah, but he's not... He's just completely... <laughs> doesn't even care about the damage types that Akechi can do. I mean, he might be strong to everything other than light. That's possible. Here then, Rakunda. Yeah. My skills exceed yours. <laughs> what an awesome quote! Go to hell! Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. That will be less later on when that Roland medal is off. Right. Oh yeah, I did still have to play in the round. <laughs> Why do you think I keep talking about the Velvet Room? You got it. No, you're not so bad when you have the best accessory in the game <laughs> equipped. And I am capable of much more. Now then, let us deal with the shadows quickly. Wait, doesn't it sound like we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? You're right. I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I'd suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well, I trust your experience and judgment. Let us do that. Leaving already? Well, we knew it was going to happen. Ah, so it goes. Hey, now you can work on your persona. Whew, thank goodness. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take, though. That is unnecessary. First we secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. Meanwhile, Yusuke, Muji, <laughs> and An are all standing around pouting, wishing that they had been able to figure all this stuff out instantly. But now here's the question, Damon. Does he know all of that because he's intelligent? Or because the last few people were smart enough to figure it out, are we not supposed to question how he figured it out so easily? There is a lot to be said for that. I mean, I think he's just that smart, because he's really capable. It's, it's not, just, but it's I'm not just, saying... just about being smart or dumb or capable or not. I, I, I think that sort of is oversimplifying things. Mm -hmm. I think rather than someone being quote-unquote smart or uh -huh. quote-unquote dumb, uh -huh. like I think rather than that, it's, it's more of a personality trait about trying to comprehend something okay. instead of not thinking about it. Okay. Like uh, like the opposite would, could be something like a benign thoughtlessness, perhaps. Okay, I get what you're saying. Like, it's not like... It's not like Ryuji or An is actually really dumb. Yeah, it's that, that's that they true. don't really think. Should, I really shouldn't phrase it like that. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be something along those lines. You are correct, Akechi-kun. You either have experience, <laughs> or you've uh, done some investigation. After all, as a detective, what does he do? That's true. He detects. Just like a butler buttles. <laughs> a plus buttles? It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I'm not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nijima-san's shadow seemed really confident and had terrible makeup. <laughs> yes, there's no knowing what may await. 
Let's continue cautiously. It's so fascinating that Makoto is taking such a back seat. Is she afraid to confront her sister? And so Tri is trying to stay in the background? Maybe. Considering how she kind of took charge of the Phantom Thieves and how gung-ho she is in all of her actions, Uh like in the metaverse and with her own awakening, the fact that she's so not present in her own sister's palace is worth pointing out. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? If I feel like it. Uh, I mean, yeah. (laughs) We have to. Perfect. I will be available at any time you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prepare well for the coming task. Ah, yes. My apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We'll be counting on you, Akechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes, I'll do my best to live up to all of your expectations and then stab you all in the back. (laughs) The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. The text! They won't let the episode end! (laughs) Things have really soured. There's even a bounty on you guys. But I seriously believe the Phantom Thieves are innocent. By the way, I changed up the survey question and I believe you noticed rather belatedly. Maybe that was when it changed. It's already up in flames, though. It's a problem for me, too, if people don't think the Phantom Thieves are heroes. Just try and clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you. So people are turning on us even in a survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low, even though earlier I remember expressing I miss when we were very small and no one knew who we were. Complicated emotions!